Hello everyone, praise God for another day. And today I'm gonna to be going over how to assemble this helmet. It is the TR Industrial Forestry and Safety Helmet. And I was looking online for quite a few different options. This seemed to be probably the best mix between price and how good it was. So price, this was probably the best mix between price and quality. So there's a lot of different options to choose from and in doing my research, this is what I came up with. You might like something better, but this is what I'm going to put together. And I decided just to create this quick video because I noticed some comments in the reviews of different helmets, maybe this helmet as well. I forget exactly which ones, but that they were difficult to assemble. So I'm just gonna throw it together real quick and hopefully this helps someone. So if you're not interested in this, that's okay. Hopefully tune in for my next video and we'll get you. I bought this helmet because I'm gonna be doing some tree work in my yard, trying to increase the space for my garden. So let's jump right in. So the first part of the helmet obviously is just the helmet itself. And it comes with what you need to strap the helmet on top of your head. So you have to attach these two together and if you can see there are some tabs. Let me try to focus the camera. There's some tabs. So as you can see there's some tabs where they fit into the helmet itself. So let's see if I can get this all on camera. You put the adjustment side towards the back of your head, the rim is towards the front of your head. So you line up the adjustment side with the middle and then as you can see these let's try to get it zoomed in enough these orange slots fit exactly where the helmet goes. So you take the white little spacer and click it in to the helmet pretty painless and then you have these parts they also just slide right in it was honestly harder to take it apart than it is to put it together and then there's one in the front on the left side one in the front on the right side don't quote me on which side it is because it's all based on perspective two more on the other ear side I guess we'll say and there you have your main helmet put together you can adjust how it sits on your head and how tight the ring is. So there are two more little pieces that kind of keep the ring in place. So these are right towards the front and then there's a little square part that you slide it into. It's a little annoying with the foam in the way so if you're trying to do it relatively easily, take the foam off first. I can just edit out the worst of this. So there it slides in there. Looks like that. And this, this side seems to be giving me much more trouble as far as staying in place once I hook it. Trying to fit the rectangular piece into the circle hole, it feels like. But once it, if you get it all the way, if you get it all the way, once it twists, it should just stay seated. And through the magic of editing, you didn't have to watch me struggle my way through that last part. But as you can see, it is now in place. Another cool function about this helmet is it swivels, so if you have, I'm imagining a smaller head, you can get it to work. So next are the earmuffs, and you have to put the earmuffs on before the face shield, and you'll see why. But I was wondering, when I was first putting this together, if, and I don't read the directions, because what's the fun in that, if the helmet came down like that 
but it is the opposite. It actually fits through the top. So you just find the space, try to wedge it in a little bit. So there's like a little bevel. There's all these little intricate details that are just difficult. Well, maybe. There we go. You can kind of see the little bevel towards the top. And so you basically angle it in a little bit before you force the piece to go. And then it should just seat in and snap. And then it's in there tight. And these rotate, so you can leave them in the back if you don't want to wear them. But they are heavy, so why is it so dark? So you can just leave them in the back like that if you want, but they are kind of heavy, so if you don't want to wear them, just leave them off the helmet. But if you're cutting stuff with a chainsaw, you probably want that uh, feature. It's nicer than having to throw away the disposable. So this second side, click it on, same thing. And then this also adjusts the ear pieces up and down. So if your head's a little bigger or your ears are a little further away, you'll still be able to work, use that. So next, the visor, I'm gonna be using this. I'll show you how to put the plastic one on just to be extra thorough, but they're the same exact thing. So you have the little flip up part. And I don't know what might be easier, putting the visor on the mask first or the other way around. Well, I'm just gonna do it this way. So there's these little tabs that you just place it in and then twist it 90 degrees. And there's five of them. So you just place it in the tab and turn it over. Out of focus, of course. Why would you want to focus on anything? You're just a camera. Can you guys see that even? All right, so then you twist it down. Down, not up. Twist it down. Pretty sure it's supposed to go down. Somebody could correct me and it, maybe it goes up, but. All right, so now the visor is in place. And if this is the tricky part, if this is the part you're looking for, and you're in luck because I figured it out. So the ear pieces, which of course, if you want to only wear the shield and not the ear pieces, maybe this isn't the best helmet to get, but I'm probably wearing both, so should be fine. But this is where the shield clicks in, right on where the earpiece part is. And there's just a little uh, button, I guess. Of course, it went together easier off camera. There we go. And it just plop, pops into place. If you can see, the button is in the second slot. Got to be careful with your word choice on YouTube videos. Anyways, just press the button and then the rest should click into place with a little more force. Button number two and the visor is on. So we have, let me tighten I don't know what to call this part. The visor, I don't know. Tighten the visor, lower the earmuffs. Of course, it's gonna sound really weird to talk with these on, but you guys can't tell. Take a step back and put the visor down. So this is fully assembled. Let me just take off the visor really quick. I bet it sounds a little funny talking through this, but I don't know. We'll find out. Did I get all five? Boom, off. All right, so this has a protective film on it. 
I'm not taking it off because I'm not going to be using it, but it's just two layers. You take both layers off before you wear it. Can't see right now, but it's just going to be a quick. Uh, that goes down. This goes down. I bet you guys really can't hear like good quality. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do a voiceover, but there. So very quick to Oh, you got this. You got this visor. Release the visor. Oh, anyone who watches Goldshaw Farms might get that. All right, put this back on just for the fun of it. Just for a few more seconds. All right, that's up. Let's go. Down. That's the opposite of down. Ladies and gentlemen, apparently the opposite of down is up. All right, why is this fighting? All right, cooperation. There we go. All right, and our helmet is assembled. So I haven't used it in the wild yet, but it looks like a pretty good quality. And if I thought it really stunk, I probably just wouldn't put this video up. So if for whatever reason I use it and it falls apart in five seconds, then I'll amend this video. But it seems like this is a good, relatively decent quality helmet if a tree limb crashes if a tree limb crushes my skull, then hopefully you'll get the word out or the word will reach you not to use this helmet, but it looks like it's in good shape. It's approved by the important approval people. So I'm sure it's safe. It has a little like rim up the top, little air vents, which are kind of a nice feature when you're out there sweating. So I think I'm done talking for now. If you have any questions about how I put this together, if I miss something in the step-by-step -step process, please let me know. I can always edit this video in the future. But as always, God bless, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.